Hi, have you ever hooked up a new piece of gear into your setup and had this happen? Or just had an unbearable noise in your recording? The cause might be a ground loop, some other interference, or even loud air conditioning. Here are a few ways to solve this problem. If a ground loop is the problem, well, plugging everything you're using into the same outlet will probably solve it. Most noise or hum issues coming from ground loops are a result of having your setup plugged into more than one wall socket at a time. Now, I've seen people recommend removing the ground pin or using a ground lift plug on one but not both of your sockets. I'm no electrician, but that doesn't seem safe to me. The only reason I'm mentioning it is because it's something I think you shouldn't do. Now, if you're like me and just don't want to run wires so that everything is plugged into one place, use balanced or either XLR or TRS cables across your setup. An XLR cable looks like this and a TRS cable looks like this. TRS stands for tip, ring, and sleeve. And I know that this looks like a stereo cable, but it's actually used for mono outputs. So you'd need two of these to carry stereo audio. Now, you'd also need your audio interface if you're using one or other gear to support balanced outputs. Plugging a balanced cable into an unbalanced output won't do much good. So if your audio interface doesn't have balanced outputs, you'll need something else, which brings us to solution number three, which is use a ground loop isolator. Now, these are a favorite of mine because they're cheap and they work really well. Just pass your audio through this and out this and the ground noise will magically disappear. Check out this audio before. And now through a ground loop isolator. What do you think? Is the sound any different? What I did notice is that the phase is inverted when you use a ground loop isolator. Check out this sawtooth wave. The ramp is going up. And if I unplug it and insert a ground loop isolator in between the source and the destination, and now take a close look at the ramp of the sawtooth. Did it impact the audio? You tell me. Sometimes the problem might be somewhere else. Another option that may work for you is ferrite beads or a ferrite choke. Now to clarify, I didn't say choke a ferret, but if you've ever wondered what these things are on your cables, they're not a handle to help pull the cable out, but kind of like a low pass filter for very high frequency noise. Now this one is built into the cable, but you can buy ferrite beads that clip onto cables and that might help you, especially for non-audio cables where a ground loop isolator isn't relevant, for example, a USB or network cable. If you do get one of these, loop the cable once, clip on the ferrite bead, and you should see an improvement. If you've already recorded your audio with ground noise and re-recording isn't practical, you may be able to fix it in post with a filter or plugin. If the noise happens to be at a particular frequency, you can use a precise notch filter at that frequency to take the noise out. Notch filters are typically free with most audio and video editing software and certainly with the awesome open source Audacity software. Now, if there's a nastier hum or a broader frequency noise like an air conditioner hum or just an overall noise coming in through your mic, the methods mentioned above won't work. In that case, you might need an advanced noise removal algorithm. A free solution that might work for you is Audacity's noise removal algorithm, where you can use a few seconds of your audio that contain the problematic audio that you're trying to get rid of and then apply noise reduction to the entire clip. If it's too big of a problem to fix with Audacity or free tools available in your DAW, try out Noise Remover from Accusonus or RX7 from Isotope. Now, though those are no longer in the cheap category, if you're stuck with bad audio, they're still cheaper than a time machine. And there's either a demo or rent to own option, which can help you try them out. So that's it for now. If you want other electronic music ideas, tips, and tricks, check out my ever-growing book on Patreon. If you have better ideas or other ones, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit like if this was helpful and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.